when you want to protect something, you put a protective coating in front of it. If it's an art piece, glass or plexiglass. But if you're painting with oil or acrylics or alkyds, you don't normally frame behind glass, but they still must be protected. The best way to protect an oil painting or an, an acrylic or an alkyd painting is with a varnish. Varnishes produce a film in front of the painting that does not become part of the actual paint service and offers the same protection that this piece of plexiglass did to my eye when we are opened this presentation. Welcome to the studio. I'm going to show you some of the things about varnishing and how you should do it and the materials you can use. Varnishes should be clear. They should also be non-yellowing and they must be flexible. The canvas will move due to temperature changes or humidity changes or possibly somebody just touching the canvas or moving it. Varnishes for canvas must be flexible. Inflexible varnishes will crack over time and will spoil the look of the painting. Damber varnish is one of the older varnishes that's been still around and is being used. Uh, it dries to very high gloss and it's a natural varnish. It does, however, amber over time, and it be, is a very brittle varnish when it dries. It is suitable for paintings done on panel or rigid supports. The next varnish I'd like to talk about is artist's gloss varnish. This is a ketone varnish, and it is soluble in mineral spirits. It is also non-yellowing. Conservert varnishes are made of a mixture of varnishes. They are easily removable for 100 years. They are non-yellowing. And they can be blended together to produce different levels of finish. They come in two finishes, a gloss and a matte. And you, the artist, can mix them together to produce anything from a high gloss finish to a matte surface or a satin finish on your paintings. Before you varnish your oil painting, you should wait 6 to 12 months. Oil paint dries by oxidation. And when you put a layer of varnish on top, you are cutting off the essential oxygen that is required in the curing process of the oil paint. If by chance you do want to put a varnish on sooner than that, you can use artist retouch varnish and that will allow you to put a temporary coat on until the painting is able to be varnished properly after the period of 6 to 12 months. Artist retouching varnish can be used as a temporary coating on a painting. Also, we have Damar retouching varnish, which is a version of the Damar varnish I was talking about earlier. Both these varnishes should not be applied to a painting until at least 30 days after it is touched dry. We're now going to varnish a painting. And the first thing we want to have is an area that is free of dust, that is not damp. Uh, you don't damp, uh, varnish a painting on a damp day as it can cause the varnish to bloom. You also want to use a good varnishing brush. The brush I'm using here is a Monarch 2-inch synthetic mongoose. It is very soft and the hair is very firmly attached so it will not come off and mix with the varnish while you're applying the varnish. The worst thing you want happening in a varnish is to have a rag hair get off in the varnish while you're trying to do the varnishing process. Now we're going to start varnishing the painting. This is Conserve Art var Varnish and I'm just going to decant it into this can here and let's varnish the painting. Taking the brush here and I'm starting to apply the varnish in slightly overlapping strokes back and forth down the canvas. As I run out of varnish, I go back and get more. I don't want to get a lot of varnish. I don't want to flood the painting with it. And I also don't want to agitate the varnish and create air bubbles because it'll make marks in the final finish. Going back in. Once you start varnishing, keep up a fairly steady rhythm and try and get it finished as quickly as you can back in here. I'm now going to look down the painting and see if there's any spots that are missed. There aren't. I'm turning it 90 degrees and then I'm very quickly going to just level off the varnish coat over the whole painting. I'm not going back in to do a stroke otherwise it'll start to dull the varnish and it will give a bad finish when I'm, I'm complete. And there we are. And that is the painting varnished. Now the painting is varnished, you will notice that all the sunken areas have now been leveled out, the colors are brighter, and the surface is totally unified.
Besides protecting this painting, we have now given it a cosmetic treatment. It looks a lot better than it did before, and it is now protected for time. Thank you for your interest in Windsor Newton Artist Varnishes. For more information, visit Windsor Newton on the web at www.windsornewton.com or check our product literature.